Artificial intelligence. It's been in the spotlight of late, but it's actually been around for decades. It has one definition of AI says it leverages computers and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind. Did you hear that? Mimic the human mind. Now there's both excitement and concern on what it can already do and eventually will do. Two simple letters that when you plug them into any search engine, well, the information's all over the board. It's good, it's bad, it's creating jobs, it's taking jobs with articles on the daily. You got blogs, posts, podcasts, AI. newscasts, AI. 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 Seriously here, just trying to wrap your head around what it is, what it does, and how in the world it affects you. It affects every industry, every job. Now well, it's a little tricky to simplify. And so what is intelligence? It's the ability to acquire knowledge from experience for future decisions. For the past two decades, Jepson Taylor has been in the AI industry and says AI does not operate independently, but rather learns from the collective experience of human input, like ChatGPT, writing up unique papers, songs, and stories in a matter of seconds. You are ultimately the composer. You are the expert. AI is just an enabler. It's a catalyst. It, it's an accelerant for you to move faster. Speaking of faster, let me catch you up on a few ways artificial intelligence is already affecting your day-to-day -day life. Getting from point A to point B, you're using AI. Finishing the sentence of a text, that's AI. Pop-up ads, pushing your favorite brand, definitely AI. Unlocking a phone with your face, driving hands-free, voice recognition, fraud detection on your credit card, AI, 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 and AI. But the impact of artificial intelligence is extending beyond individual applications. It is transforming industries, enhancing productivity, and driving innovation. So there's about 109 patients over here. For the medical field. I think for the patient, it's almost like having second opinions being performed. Docs like Jonathan Tward up at Huntsman Cancer are pretty excited by what AI can do especially in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer. There's now an AI test that can not only, with extreme precision, give me a great idea as to the chance that the cancer will spread after treatment, but it literally lets me know if a drug that is normally routinely used in many people will simply work or not. Personalized medicine by analyzing vast amounts of medical data, giving results and treatments almost instantaneously. It is a game changer. Also being used, well, in games. Pitchers like it, hitters like it. Four days a week, minor league baseball is officially using artificial intelligence to call balls and strikes. Just look up top there, more than a dozen cameras above the field with the sole purpose of finding that sometimes questionable strike zone without question. So they immediately know before the umpire knows, it goes up, it shows it, it's a ball or strike. And that little black box on the umps and the earpiece there immediately communicates the call. If we have the ability to get it right, we should try to get it right. But let's be honest here. Every time something is created for right, who's going to decide the rules, right? It also creates a lot of wrong. The concerns center on things like deception, fabrication, plagiarism, as well as things that get into, you know, the deep fakes and the more criminal aspects. Okay, take it away, group. Let's get going. Darren Gates is an adjunct professor of philosophy and computer science at BYU and says we've already seen some of the negatives, like biased algorithms leading to discrimination in hiring or lending practices, breaches in data privacy and cybersecurity. And remember when Gates mentioned deep fakes? What is your perception of reality? Yeah. This is what he's talking about. That's not Morgan Freeman. This is serious breaking news. That's not Tom Cruise. And this so-called news anchor Hello, everyone. is a computer-generated avatar sent from a pro-China bot account on social media. I think this audio deepfake technology is particularly concerning because they can take a sample of your voice, right? And they can generate, you know, what, what sounds, sounds just, just like, like you. One more thing here. If you are worried about AI taking your job... What we do is we clone cognitive reasoning. Well, it kind of depends on your job. So you might hear of AI mimicking a human brain. Really, it's just mimicking how we put patterns together. Linda Klug is a founder and CEO of an AI business and yes, understands how artificial intelligence can replace jobs heavy in writing, research, finance, and graphics design. But she has also seen AI improve employee skill sets. In one case, a customer service agent with a learning disability used AI to do a job more complicated 
and higher pay. Within two days, he was able to do the job. Made him happy, made the employer happy. The reality is, this technology will continue transforming the world as we know it. Truth be told, along with the hours of interviews and research I did for this story. Well, guess what? This part, this part, this part, and this part of the story were all written by, by ChatGPT. In a matter of seconds. Intelligently and artificially. M Mike Hedrick, K KSL 5 News. This is the real Mike Hedrick. Yes, it is. Not yeah, the is. Uh, chat bot version. Yeah. Think about it. Uh, back in the 80s, Max Hedrum, right? Right. That was, it, uh, that was all AI stuff. Huh? But yeah, it's interesting to see, uh, and, and I even get into it. You look at artwork and graphics design. That's why graphics design is one of those who are thinking, yeah, this stuff could kind of take some of those jobs is wow. because the ar the artistic, uh, just how clear it is, how 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 specific it is to any of these other artists it's incredible to see uh, what it can do and so uh, anyway there are jobs that can be uh, helped by it but there's also a lot of jobs that can be taken by it it's like any other technology yeah. right there's good stuff there's a bad stuff we only that was like a fraction of really what this well, is. scratching the surface yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks yeah.